Hi guys, it's Drea. So today I have a video all about my favorite summer lipsticks. This is kind of like my favorite right now. Um, the things that I am using right now the most, the things I've been loving the most. I also got to thinking a little bit about all the hype around Jaclyn Hill's recent launch. I, first of all, love Jaclyn, always have. Um, I think it's amazing that she started this brand and is launching all these beautiful looking nude lipsticks. Um, I love nude lipstick. I think it's like so brilliant to launch all nude lipsticks in the summer because I feel like that is a time when people love their nudes. You know, I know I do certainly. I love doing a colorful eye with like a really, really beautiful nude creamy pouty lip but i am on a lipstick no buy right now and i won't be buying any of jacqueline's lipstick maybe in the future but it will be the distant future in the meantime i think it's a really good idea especially when there's so much hype around products to shop your own stash so i have 10 lipsticks here now seven of them are nude and that's just the way it is. I love nudes in the summer, but I also have one red and two more colorful lipsticks that I also have been loving. So we're gonna do some lip swatches today. I'm gonna to talk about the formulas and why I love these lipsticks, and I hope you will stick around. So the first one is what is on my lips right now. This is from the Sephora collection. These are the new Rouge Lacquers. I really love this packaging that they came out with. This really reminds me of the Fenty lipstick packaging. It's kind of that like, um, geometric tube a little bit thinner and longer and what I really like about these is they have the color on the end of all of them this is in the shade 15 not your baby um, it's a little bit more on the pinkish side of nude but I would still consider this a nude it's kind of like a warm pink in a way not like a Barbie pink um, it's got a definitely a little bit of a brown undertone to it and I was hoping this would be a dupe for my favorite all-time lipstick Spice Spice Baby but that doesn't exist anymore and this is not quite the same but this is a really nice smooth formula it's not too thick like it still feels pretty thin on the lips but still has a level of creaminess and hydration to it this is the Milani keep it full lip plumper in the shade prismatic peach so this is actually a gloss and not a lipstick um, I just want to show you something look at how much of this I have used and you know I don't love glosses I love some glosses but not all, and the ones I love, I love hardcore, like the Gloss Balm from Fenty and Fenty Glow, but I used that one up entirely, and I haven't repurchased it yet, even though I intend to eventually, um, because I've been loving this one so much. This one is slightly cooling, a little bit minty. It definitely has that nude peachiness to it. Even though it's a gloss, it's not as easy always to see that, but it is there, it's not pink, and it has just the tiniest little bit of shimmer to it. It just has a little bit of gold shimmer to it, but you can't feel it at all on the lips. And I love that about the Fenty one as well. I think this is a really close formula dupe to the Fenty, except for the tingliness and the scent, which is completely different, but I really like the color and I love how kind of pouty and juicy the, the lips look when you wear a gloss like this. This is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Fuel. This came out with their Naked Heat collection when they brought out that palette. I think it was two years ago. Um, I've used so much of this. I would say this is my probably my favorite summer lipstick color period like out of all of these this is probably my favorite i love how this is like very caramelly it has kind of like even like an orange undertone to it but this is just like so summertime like with a tan this looks so good it has just that little bit of brownness to the nude but nothing that's over the top like oh that's brown or oh that's orange it just has this really like caramel -ness to it um, this is a cream formula and it's super opaque like it completely covers the lip no sheerness at all but it still does give you a little bit of that poutiness because it's a cream formula and not matte next is the nars velvet lip glide in swag this formula is amazing this is a liquid lip color that is not at all matte it's so water down it is not transfer proof but it is liquid it has a flat paddle type applicator so it just goes on really smoothly um, you really only need one pass to cover your whole lips usually this is such a smooth formula it's very like hydrating nourishing it's a gel like lipstick which just feels so plush and 
pillow like on your lips it's very soft and it feels fantastic so these first four that i've talked about these are the four lipsticks that live in my purse right now so when i was thinking about filming this video i was like well which lipstick am i gonna pick i'm like well, go over to your purse and grab what's ever in it because those are obviously my current favorites so these four are living in the purse this one is another nars velvet lip glide this is in the shade xenon um same great things to say about the formula obviously the difference here is the color this one is still i would consider nude and of course it's going to be different on types of skin tones but this one is more of like a nighttime nude whereas this one is like a daytime nude in the summer this is think like summer nights sultry nights um it's definitely a little bit deeper it almost has almost a purpley undertone to it, but still that caramelliness that I love in summer lipsticks and summer nudes. So I, I really like this. When I got both of these, I was kind of like, well, they're kind of really similar, but no, they're actually quite different. Um, different enough to justify having both of them and having them both be in this top 10 list. Oh, do I love the ColourPop formula. I love the ColourPop cream lipsticks, the bullet lipsticks. First of all, for ColourPop to do this kind of beautiful packaging and like the lipstick itself has little stars in it, for the price that they do it for is just so great. This is the shade Uno Mas. I love this color. I think this is similar to Fuel and I remember at one point somebody saying that were they dupes? And they are definitely not exact, but they are super close. This is a little bit more pinkier and Fuel is a little bit more browner, but they are the same idea. Um, I also think that Fuel is slightly more shiny. This is definitely not matte by any means, but it doesn't have as much shine to it. It's a little bit more flat. So I really like this color. I think it has the same kind of properties as Fuel where it goes with so much. And the fact that it is um, a little bit more brown, but again, not totally, not as much looks so good with bronzy tan skin. So I love this. I love the ColourPop bullet lipstick formulas. They're fantastic. This is brand new to me, this formula. I've only worn this a few times, but I already love it. These are the BH Cosmetics Cashmere Cream. This is in the shade Perf. Um, I hate the names of these. I think they're so cringy, but the color is gorgeous. These remind me kind of of the Velvet Lip Glides they are very pillowy and soft but not as gel like they're a little bit more whipped so this is like a squeezy tube but it has a little very small little doe foot applicator on it kind of a lot does come out when you pull it out um but it's fine you can spread it easily enough there's no scent to these at all i also think the packaging is just slightly a little bit like 80s cheap looking like remember when brass was all the rage this kind of reminds me of like anybody have a brass vanity when you were growing up do you remember those anyway that's what that reminds me of um but but this color is gorgeous the formula is gorgeous i cannot wait to wear these all summer long i say these because i have a second one here so this one is in the shade yes which again you see the cringe factor um but this color like again same beautiful things to say about the formula this color i love this i love this this is slightly more of a pinky caramelly tone like definitely so much more warm here's perf here's yes you can definitely see the difference here would some people consider this a nude i'm not sure it's kind of verging outside of the nude territory but still i think this goes with so many things i think the the underlying theme here is that warm lipsticks go with deeper tanner skin and look so gorgeous in the summertime which is why they are in this favorites for me but i love this shade i actually think this looks fantastic together this look and i'm probably gonna put this back on after i swatch these last three for you all right so now we're getting into not nudes this one is a red this one it might not be completely perfect on my lip but that's the thing with reds especially i, I think liquid lipstick reds are a little bit easier 
bullet creamy type lipstick reds are a little bit more difficult to apply but this is the bite beauty bite of teo so this is from their what did they call these like road trip or cities or something it's the amuse bouche lipstick and these are limited edition they just came out this summer i'm sure that you can probably still get them as of me putting this up but um they won't last probably till next year so if you want them get them now this color this they describe it as a maple red because again toronto and it's the only canadian city featured in these lipsticks but when i got this see i don't normally like reds and i certainly don't like warm reds that kind of make my teeth look a little bit yellow but i really love this there's something about this color in particular that is much more summery to me um, than those cool tone reds and it's again probably because it has that little bit of orangey warmth to it and see even with this eye look which is a is a bit much i still think it goes i mean if you want it to be this bold i think it works it's just a matter of do you want to be this bold so i really like this i like the formula of this a lot once you get this on perfectly it's going to last for hours this is definitely not transfer proof at all but it's thick it's opaque and it's very long lasting so i have really been surprised by how much i enjoy this but i really do enjoy it this is the ColourPop lipstick in super bloom this came out in the spring and when i first bought this i thought you know what this is very much a spring color because it is red but it's much more of a pink to me like this is like a very very deep pink like almost with a coraliness to it very bright very vibrant um this is from i can't remember what they called these oh here we go velvet blur collection which is kind of like a powdery formula so it's it's unlike anything that i've really ever tried before it's definitely got a matte component component to it it's not transfer proof but yet if i were to do that i get a little bit but it's not like smeared all over the place and none has come off my lips. It almost looks like I put on a lipstick and like blotted it five times. You know, it's definitely got that kind of worn away look to it. But I think this color is so pretty. I thought it would be spring only for me, but I really do see myself wearing this well into the summertime. I think this, in contrast to the warmth of the bite one, I think that this one is definitely the kind of thing you would want to wear more with a toned down eye look. I don't necessarily think this goes with a lot of vibrant eye looks. It's really, I don't know, it's just a bit much and it doesn't, cause it's a little bit more cool tone, I think rides on that line of not necessarily being summer like but for me i do think it'll work for a lot of summer looks this is from ColourPop. this is the ultra satin liquid lipstick in the rabbit i think all i don't know about all but i think many of us on youtube have this little fantasy of like what if we were to collab with a brand if i were to collab with ColourPop, i would basically say to them can we just take the rabbit and like repackage it and rename it drea because this is my color my love for this lipstick is legendary i wear this in the winter i wear it in the summer i wear it all year long i think it works for so much i have worn this with the most absolute vibrant eye looks and i've worn it with the most toned down eye ever and it seems to work for me with so much and with everything and i love the formula of this this is such a comfortable formula i'm not a fan of the matte liquid lipsticks from ColourPop, although i have heard that they reformulated them i'm interested in trying those out but i've always loved the ultra satin there's just so much of a comfort factor there and it does last a super 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 long time because it does kind of dry down but again not transfer proof and it's very opaque as well so that's it for my current 10 favorite summer lipstick shades i hope that you really like this that you found it helpful let me know what your favorite is maybe out of these or you have your own favorite that i don't know about let me know what it is and that's it for today i hope that you're having a great day i hope that you're speaking kindly to yourself especially when you look in the mirror i love you guys i'll see you in my next video bye